we stopped in Gander at the Aviation Museum just for a little break. Stopped here in Gander today on our way to St. John's. Gander, according to their sign, as well as known as the crossroads of the world. Very important international airport at one time. But as technology increased and it became a less of a stopover place. But during 9-11 was very important and a lot of planes were grounded here in Gander. Some were over 40 and as documented in the series, Come From Away. Well, we just stopped here today because it is an important part of the history of Newfoundland and Labrador. We are stopped here in Gander and stopped at the craft shop here behind me. And just to give you a bit of a view of the Transcanda Highway traveling through Gander. Probably going to stop at a local Tim Hortons to pick up a coffee and then continue our ride or drive to St. John's. Probably stopping again maybe in Clarenville, somewhere like that. But here is the craft shop, I guess well known here in Newfoundland and in other parts of Canada and the world. We're here just outside of Gam Gambo, Newfoundland. There's a little stop here called Joey's Lookout. Joey was the first premier of Newfoundland, Joey Smallwood, and he's also known as the father of Confederation. So he was born in Gambo, Newfoundland, which is just down over the hill from here. And we just stopped here to pick some fresh vegetables off the lady here who grew them in Mint Brook and then we're uh, headed to St. John's but so we got some potatoes and beet we got to get some carrot now but this is for dinner on Monday Jig's dinner we're coming into Terranova National Park now this is the second national park that we've been in in Newfoundland and this one is a bit smaller than Gross Morn, but this one is on the east coast of Newfoundland, where the other one was on the northwest coast of Newfoundland. So we're just traveling out here on the Transcanda Highway on our way to St. John's, and we're probably about 200 kilometers outside of the city of St. John's, the capital of. Newfoundland and Labrador. Just put some flowers here on your grave, Mrs. Tucker. Hopefully you like them. Love you very much. The residence here, you see 284 Black Marsh Road. I actually spent my university time out here. And for two years I lived in this house with a lady called Mrs. Tucker. An elderly lady. And now we just came out to St. John's you know, on her trip down to visit and pay her respects as she died during COVID-19 and we were unable to get home for the funeral. She's Her final resting place is very close to here in the Mount Pleasant Cemetery, just down here across Black Marsh Road, period. <laughs> 